Hello, everyone. This is our work titled Safety Aware Unsupervised Skill Discovery. On behalf of our team at Neighbor Labs and Neighbor Labs Europe, I'm Young Hyo Park. Before we begin, let me show you a brief video that summarizes the result of our work. Compared to typical skill discovery algorithms discovering unsafe skills like in the left, you can see our method discovering skills that are not only diverse but also safe. But why is this an important problem and why is this useful, you might ask? Well, programming manipulation behaviors are hard. And when it comes to a task that requires contact-rich manipulation with an unstructured environment, there are two approaches that are commonly used. Reinforcement learning, which tries to maximize a predefined reward function, and imitation learning, which trains policies using demonstration data sets. However, when it comes to the issue of scalability, both approaches has limitations. Designing a proper reward function and collecting demonstration data sets all require a huge amount of human engineering. One promising alternative is unsupervised reinforcement learning, also known as skill discovery. Rather than relying on task-specific rewards or demonstration, it instead defines and maximizes a task-agnostic intrinsic reward, hoping the agent to discover useful skills on its own. Ranging from locomotion to manipulation, many skill discovery algorithms have shown promising results. However, as skill discovery methods typically encourage exploratory behaviors, it is often the case where a large portion of the discovered skills are overly dangerous and unsafe, limiting its usage for solving safety-critical downstream tasks. This naturally inspires us to formulate a new problem of safety-aware skill discovery. This problem aims to discover diverse task-agnostic skills that satisfies user-defined safety constraints. Let's see how this works in a bigger picture. During the pre-training phase, given an intrinsic reward and a set of safety constraints, the algorithm tries to discover maximally diverse yet safe manipulation skills by interacting with the environment. After the training, we can have a latent condition skill policy in our hand that are not only diverse but also satisfies the given safety constraints. This pre-trained safe skill policy can then be used to solve many downstream tasks. If a set of downstream tasks all share the same set of safety constraints that our skill policy is trained on, one can easily handle these constraints by solving the task using the pre-trained skill policy. This removes the necessity to consider the same safety constraints repeatedly for every single downstream task. Rest of this presentation will cover a formal definition of our problem, coined SASD, an effective algorithm to solve it, and an experiment to verify its effectiveness. Our ultimate goal is to solve a set of downstream tasks, TI, where each can be represented as a safety-aware MDP with different task rewards but a shared safety constraint. Here, the safety constraint is defined as a binary indicator, a function indicating whether a state S is unsafe or not. Using such definition, safety-aware MDP tries to find an optimal stochastic policy that maximizes the expected cumulative reward with a bounded probability of safety violation. Typically, the probability of safety constraint violation is approximated by the safety critic Q function, which is defined as follows. Now, coming back to the problem, our strategy to achieve this goal is to pre-train a task agnostic set of low-level skills that inherently satisfies the shared safety constraint I. Thus, our problem is naturally formulated as a constraint optimization problem, maximizing the mutual information-based intrinsic reward while being regularized by the same constraint as in the setting of safety-aware MDP. This can be further specified by replacing the mutual information objective with a tractable lower bound and modeling the probability of safety violation with safety critic. Finally, adopting a Lagrangian formulation the SASD problem can be solved by this surrogative shown here. Here we show our final algorithm. Check out the details in our paper. To verify the usefulness of our approach, we've done experiments to answer these following questions. During the experiment, we imposed the following safety constraints, including both robot side and environment side safety conditions. First, we can see that the algorithm ensures safety even during the skill discovery phase. Video on the left shows the skill discovered at different training phases, and the plot on the right shows the discovery reward and safety rates during the pre-training phase. 
Next, we observe that a pre-trained skill policy is also safe to be sequentially composed in an arbitrary manner. The following plot shows the safety rates being reasonably maintained for different skill composition schemes. Finally, for the downstream task performance, we observe that discovering skills with safety constraints does not necessarily harm the downstream task performance. In addition, since the manipulation skills we discovered inherently satisfies the safety constraints, we can perform safe teleoperation in a zero-shot manner just by selecting and composing appropriate skills online. To conclude, these are the main contributions and takeaways. First, we introduce a problem of safety-aware skill discovery, learning task-agnostic skill repertoire that is inherently safe to be composed for downstream tasks. Second, this is an attractive approach when one tries to handle common safety constraints that appear in multiple downstream tasks. Finally, we note that discovering skills with safety constraints does not necessarily harm the downstream task performance. If you are more interested in our work, please check out our paper and the website. Thanks.